Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Call Central TV. Here are the 10 most brutal villains in Call of Duty. Number 10, Khalid Al-Assad. Serving as the main villain of the first act of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, Khalid Al-Assad was a terrible man that worked closely with Imran Zakaev. He committed terrible deeds in his rise to power, such as ordering citizens to be executed in the streets for being loyal to the current president, Yazir Al-Fulani. Khaled ends up capturing Al-Fulani and executes him on television. Towards the end of Act 1, Khaled Al-Assad is finally captured by Captain Price, Soap, and his team. Price ends up killing Al-Assad after discovering what Imran Zakhaev is still alive. <laughs> Number 9, General Barkov. The newest game in the franchise, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, released in 2019, brought a return to the traditional campaign mode that was missed from Call of Duty Black Ops 4. General Barkov serves as one of the main villains in the game. Barkov is the general of the Russian army and does cruel things throughout the campaign missions, such as unleashing a chemical gas that kills several civilians and also tortures one of the main protagonists, Farah and her brother Hadir. He's eventually taken down by Farah in the final mission of the Modern Warfare campaign. Barkov has become quite a memorable villain and could possibly get more backstory in a potential sequel. Hands now, Farah. Stay awake, she lives. Bess out, she dies. You shut up! Number 8, Nikita Dragovich. Call of Duty Black Ops was so ahead of its time when it released in 2010. The campaign mode brought so many crazy twists and turns that hold up just as well as the Shepard betrayal scene. In the game, you play as Alex Mason in different missions while he's trying to repair his mind after being turned into a sleeper agent. The person responsible for brainwashing him was Nikita Dragovich, who is the main villain of the game. Not only does he turn an American against his people, but he has also has a hand in weaponizing Nova 6, a powerful biochemical weapon that he intended on unleashing upon the United States. Thankfully, he was able to be stopped in the final mission. He's perhaps not one of the most memorable, but did definitely do extremely brutal things throughout the game. <laughs> Number 7, Gabriel T. Rourke. Call of Duty Ghost had a very different story than most of the other games. It was a lot more personal, and while not as memorable as Modern Warfare and Black Ops games, it did a great job of trying something new and refreshing. The main villain of the story, Rourke, was it overly extremely cruel and took things way too far for his quest for vengeance. He was formerly the leader of the Ghost, but was left for dead in the mission gone wrong. After surviving, he was tortured by the fellow enemy faction, the Federation, and was brainwashed to turn against his former fellow soldiers. One of the most brutal acts committed by Rourke was killing Elias T. Walker in front of his sons. It was terribly cruel, but it shaped him as a great villain that players wanted to see dead. Come on. Come on. Number 6, Jonathan Irons. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare made a huge change to the franchise, taking the futuristic setting to the next level. Advanced Warfare brought in exosuits and a focus on a more cinematic feel to the campaign mode. Jonathan Irons serves as the primary villain of Advanced Warfare after he betrays his soldiers and is revealed to be working on a biological weapon that would kill countless innocent people. He's really just as bad as Shepard, and while his betrayal is certainly not on the level of when Ghost and Roach was killed, it's still a great twist overall. How's my boy doing? He's a work in progress. Well, keep Number 5, Imran Zakhaev. Following the end of the first act, Imran Zakhaev takes over as the main villain in Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. He really started out the foundation for the movements that would eventually lead to World War 3 and Modern Warfare 3. He proved to be hard to kill, surviving an assassination attempt by John Price years prior to the present day story that only left him losing his left arm. Zakhaev is the real mastermind behind the events in the Modern Warfare trilogy and made a puppet out of everyone that served him until his death at the end of the campaign mode in Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Number 4, Frederick Steiner. Frederick Steiner is one of the main villains in Call of Duty Black Ops and was a German scientist and ex-Nazi that worked closely with Nikita Dragovich to develop Nova 6, the biochemical weapon that would kill anybody exposed to it in a short amount of time. Steiner became a top priority target during the war and was ultimately taken down by Alex Mason while believing himself to be Viktor Reznov. Steiner was partly responsible for manipulating Alex Mason into becoming a sleeper agent that would turn against his fellow soldiers. Oh, and I will have my... Number 3, Raul Menendez. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 was all around an amazing game and sequel. It built on everything that was great about the first game and cranked it up to 1,000. Now taking place in a futuristic setting with drones, brand new guns, and breathtaking locations, the game also brought along a brand new villain that had deep connections with the story and characters in Black Ops 1. Raul Menendez is his name, and he was certainly not a force to be reckoned with. He had pretty clear motivations that made sense and weren't just based on something simple. While not in the level of Makarov, he proved himself to be an iconic villain. This is why David Mason feels safe coming out of hiding, is because in that- Number 2, Vladimir Makarov. While Modern Warfare 2 brought the end of Shepard, the real villain of the trilogy, Makarov was still left to deal with. 
He's basically the ultimate villain of the original Modern Warfare trilogy. Makarov's dark deeds are held as some of the darkest things a villain has ever done in the Call of Duty game. From the airport mission to killing Soap, Makarov was just a huge pain to deal with. He was always getting away whenever the protagonist would get so close to bringing him down. It'll be very interesting to see if Makarov makes a return in a sequel to the Modern Warfare reboot so players can get revenge on him once again. actually did, but because of these actions, he was forced to be discharged from the Russian army. And shortly after- Number 1, General Shepard. Shepard is one of the most iconic villains in video game history. The betrayal scene in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is one of the most memorable moments in the franchise and was the first major plot twist in the Call of Duty campaigns that really stuck with gamers. It's a twist that's still talked about to this day. While many will never forgive Shepard for betraying Ghost and Roach, it's impossible to deny how great his performance was at making himself seem trustworthy. In the end, players were able to get revenge on him as Soap in the most satisfying way possible. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.